Jake Hooley with the stoolie back at the Comic Fox. We got Kona Hamaru versus Havoc from Mortal Kombat. We decided to win it by strength, speed, durability, powers, and IQ. Let's get it. Strength wise, Kona Hamaru was able to beat a path of pain and he was able to, to defeat Al, a person with a Biakugan, and he was kind of like, you know, robotized and all that. He also beat a white Zetsu speed wise. He's faster than a couple paths of pain and he is faster than Jugo. But durability wise he does not really show too many feats but his powers do consist of super strength speed durability fire wind lightning yang release summoning jutsu he can do the rasengan and iq i would put havoc above him but now to havoc who strength wise was able to beat scorpion he actually does not have any speed feats or durability feats his powers do consist of super strength, speed, and durability, and slight reality warping and IQ. I only give it to Havoc because I think he's more experienced fighting-wise. But who would really win this fight? Now, I have to go with Havoc winning this one, even though he doesn't really have any speed feats. Neither him or Konohamaru have durability feats, and I just think he's more durable, obviously. And it's the slight reality warping for me, folks, that gives Havoc the real edge. And plus, I think Scorpion's stronger than like a white tattoo or owl so yeah havoc wins with mid diff don't forget to like subscribe comment down below who y'all think would win i'm out of here deuces